program. It's also a family oh, relationship also, drama. How do you balance that, and what did you dig like into when you were first looking at the script? Like was it the horror like aspect, that, or was it the family relationship? Probably the family relationship for me, because it's pretty yeah. obvious that there's some drama going on in, in the family, in the both families. So that was just the first thing I took away. Yeah, I mean, I snuck these scripts when they weren't released yet. I think you had read them. I, I got three. And like, I had known Ian's writing from other things, and we'd been working together on something else uh, that didn't happen. So I knew, when I heard he was doing a horror, I was like, that guy doesn't want to do a horror. So I want to see what his version of a horror thing is. And yeah, it was obviously, you were immediately immersed in something that had dread, which was right on the page, but the family elements, they dropped you into a really exciting way with the family family stuff. So for me, it really was the whole world of that, but the family dynamics were there and was real, and I was like, if we can pull off these scenes and drop an audience into this and they can get going with us, we really might have something here. So that that was what was really exciting to me at first. And that's not even, that's not even that the series is based on, no, I'm not talking about just like regular, yeah. 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 I read a little bit of it, but it's, they really have nothing really, just the story itself, so I didn't go too far into it. I didn't at all because of his scripts. His scripts, the way Ian writes is really specific and his own unique style. And once that was there, I didn't really feel the need to compare and contrast what's there and what's not. You know, it was just more of, this is his thing now, so I want to go all in on his vision of this. Well, and you guys were in an isolated farmhouse, right, in Atlanta when you filmed? Yeah. How was that, what was that like, being there? I heard it was kind of a little eerie when you were on set. It could be. We did a lot of nights. Yeah. And it, it, that, that was kind of eerie, you know. There was like maybe 20 deer just milling around, like watching us at 2 in the morning. This huge field. It, it was really beautiful. But it was it eerie? No, there's because there's 60 like grips around like watching you work. It's not like you know you're not actually alone, so it's not that scary. But it was the right setting for yeah. sure. Were you guys all there in close surroundings, like staying there? Okay, no. no. Okay, so just shooting there. Just, just shooting, shooting there. Yeah. Yeah. We were on stage a lot. Yeah. We were on yeah. many different locations. But the main location we did find, where these families sort of all sort of are from, was amazing. It really was. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I mean, for me, <laughs> I think we, thanks. we were forced. I mean, we're not, we're at odds ends, these two characters. You know, I've betrayed him. We're like friends, but I've definitely screwed him over in a big, big way. So the trust no one thing, is, to be honest, for me, is kind of out the window. I need him, and, and he needs me in a way. So that kind of like, when he says that, I'm like, I don't really care. I just want to get his car more than anything and get out of here and help my kid. And same thing, he's trying to protect his kids. So I think the trust no one, we have to trust each other. That's the thing, like, we're at odds end, but we're forced into a situation. And that's a great drama about this. That's what the, that's what the, it's a great thing about the series. Uh, like, both of you are struggling with relationships with your wives, right? There's that sort of a... I would say that, yeah. going on. <laughs> Well, for me, again, just knowing Ian, it wasn't a natural, that's why I was so excited to read it, and um, like all the character stuff was right there, and I was really curious to see how he was going to be with all that, and what's great, I've been lucky enough to work with some really, really, really talented showrunners, but on their first things, it's wild to see how involved they are when they're really in it, and he was involved in everything, which is what you want, so like the... Those genre elements, he was all about, and really, I think he was—he blew me away with that too, because you never know how that's going to go. You know what I mean? And those, what he did, what I really love is there's a lot of practical, practical um, effects, which uh, for me, the way I grew up, that's how my eyes kind of take in these genres the best. So that was there, which was very exciting to me.
Well, for me, uh, for me, I, mean, I don't know what it's like for Chaz Gear, but for me, it's the, you know, I really think when we get into five, six, seven, and eight, when the genre elements do take off, at the same time, the emotionality of the show and how emotional it gets and how attached the audience, if all goes well, will become to these characters, I think that's going to be pretty riveting. So I'm, I'm most excited to see what happens there. Yeah. I, I think shows like this, what I like about the genre is I always try to put my, as an audience member, I put myself in their situation. And I think a lot of yeah, us will do the same thing. It's a lot of drama and a lot of like suspense. I think they're going to really enjoy it. What drew you to that, to the character that you're playing? Oh, what drew me? The, uh, just Ian's pitch. He okay. told me what the character was about. He laid down the, the scenario. And, you know, I, as an actor, I love that drama. I love it's that. all lies. Yeah. <laughs> Friendship. <laughs> right. You know what I would say when I say what drew me to the character? I'm always like, it's like it was an offer. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I want to say that. I want to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it the horseback riding? No, it was not the horseback riding. It was, it was a good deal. It was a job. <laughs> yeah, it was a job. I was excited to be working. <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on a set like that for a, for a horror film, what was the mood on set? The mood, yeah, honestly, like, anyway, it was great. Mm -hmm. You can speak to that, too. It was fucking awesome. It really was, and it's not always the case. We just had a blast. We just had a lot of fun. It felt like the summer camp by the end of it, and it was just good vibes. As, you're, um, you, know, as you know, when you release a horror, anything horror in October, you're kind of setting the bar really high. Mm. So how would you tell people who have no idea what Teacup is about? Because until now, there really hasn't been a lot of information. Today is the day that the information is coming. How would you sell the show to people who are kind of, you know, they don't know what to expect? Um... I would, like, how I would sell the show is probably not the most uh, commercial version of the story. It's more of the A24 version of the story rather than, you know, the Peacock version of the story or a broad appeal version. But uh, I do think the family aspect of it and how attached to the characters people are going to be. And, you know, when we're watching these shows, you know, it's, it's always surprising to me what becomes, like, very successful, like something like The Bear. They, we didn't know that was going to pop off the way it did, and I think that really comes down to the relationship and the people and the right casting and all of the elements coming together. And I think it's not much more than that here. I think there's just a lot of the right people making the right show, and I think there is a broad appeal once we get into it. And like I was saying earlier, I just think how emotional this show gets and how uh, the genre elements do take a while to take off, but once they do, it's like it's full on. It's, it is very thrilling.